this film is such a great combination of like a legendary tale and a war film. Mm. And one of the nice things is that Joey the horse, for those who don't know, um, allows us to see these representative moments of a complex war. And you guys have my two favorite moments, which is the initial cavalry charge, mm -hmm. where we see the fading of the old way of battle and then kind of the introduction to modern warfare. Mm -hmm. And then this amazing scene in No Man's Land, where you see the strange intimacy of the trenches and then the senselessness. So for you, that's my take. What yeah. is your take on your role in the larger story? Wow. That's an incredibly good take, yeah. by the yeah, way. Yeah, absolutely <laughs> right. I think so you good. kind of nailed it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> shall I start? Yeah. You Please. Know, uh, um, I suppose it was my privilege, in a way, to um, to step into the shoes of the man who represents um, both the decency and the innocence of the kind of soldier who began the fight of the First World War in 1914. Uh, the, the British Army thought this, uh, this war was going to be over by Christmas. Honestly, they thought, we'll go over to France, We'll flash our sabers. We'll scare him off, and we'll, and we'll be and we'll be back. We'll scare the Kaiser back into his box, and we'll be home soon. And it was really a, an old school um, uh, and outdated way of thinking. Um, but at the same time, within Captain Nichols, there is a sense that this is going to be much, much worse than his military superiors might have anticipated. And uh, I, I suppose. The duality of that, the duality of the uh, collective confidence of the army at that time, but also his private fear was a very, very beautiful thing to be able to play um, alongside the kindness, his personal kindness to Albert in promising to take care of the horse. And how about you? Um, my, my part to um, be in no man's land at the surviving end of, of that war um, as, a, as an honest man, uh, a Geordie as we call him, a man from Newcastle, or South Shields specifically. Um, it was an incredible thing. I mean, so much of the poetry is written from that point of view. I, I, I'm blessed to sit with these chaps and hear about the majesty of, of where it started um, and to come in where it ended. Um, I mean, you know, if there was an opportunity to, I haven't seen the film, so I don't know about the, the two elements. Now how good he is. Yeah, I haven't actually seen You're the two quite elements. Good. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, but it was just, uh, you know, I can only speak my experience, was just fantastic to get to be in somewhere that I imagined and then saw it, and it was so much better than what I had imagined No Man's Land to be. And to have that feeling of joy in the midst of something so tragic and to be nourished by other chaps and talk and be a blokey bloke for for you know 14 hours a day for three weeks it just was a, an incredible experience but you you really summed it up beautifully it was uh, yeah you saw a legend and i think it has that that um classical mythical quality it's an odyssey really i mean joey is on an odyssey trying to get home and you know a lot of the for me it's kind of Steven Spielberg's Western more than it is a war movie. It's not, you know, it's not Saving Private Ryan. It's not, it's not, it hasn't got that level of realism. It's more romanticized. And it has those themes of trying to return home, you know, that a lot of the Westerns have. And um, Well, that's the Odyssey. Yeah, exactly. The Odyssey's the all Odyssey about coming trying home. Trying to get home. Um, and it has that, you know, again, the, those Spielberg themes of, of seeing the war from a, from a, an outsider's point of view, you know, dispassionate, the horse's point of view in this case, you know. Um. Well, you, I mean, you mentioned Spielberg, and he's obviously, he's one of the most reputed directors of family films and war films mm -hmm. today. Mm -hmm. So uh, how, how do you feel like this fits into his larger canon in I that sense? I think it's very much of a piece with the films he makes where you're with a child or you're with an alien and you're looking at the adult point of view and, and able to see its absurdity and its insanities because you're looking from that perspective. But I also feel it's maybe, I, I mean, I do think it's his Western rather than a, than a woman. Yeah, I, kind of yeah. I, th I think it's... Um, I don't know if he'd agree with that, but... <laughs> <laughs> it's classic Spielberg, I think. It's, it's about family and, and um, perseverance and hope and, and, um, and kindness, really. The primacy of kindness.